represents Taino culture. So over here, you have the kemis, which are like the Taino gods, and they used to engrave them into the stone. So each stone represents a different kemi. And then um, Tainos are one of the few tribes that actually have female chiefs, which we call um, casequis. So I have the female, there's all female Taino Indians represented. Um, and probably one of the most connecting piece to me is my grandmother is actually the middle pillar. She landed up passing away uh, right before the project was due, like the final illustrations that I had to submit to the Beltline. So I decided to add her because she was just so resilient and regardless of what she went through in life, my grandmother, you know, was the, the caseki of my family. Um, so that's why she's there. And everything has to do with just, you know, my ancestors are guiding me and I feel like I'm being used as a vessel and I want to tell the story of the Tainos just all over the nation. today. That's how I feel, okay? I feel like I'm representing mi gente. I feel like I'm doing something really big. I feel like I'm doing something not just for, like I said, not just for the Puerto Rican people in Atlanta, but the Puerto Rican people all over the world because we don't have anything that represents the Taino Indians like this and the mission, what I'm trying to do, spread our story, right? We've heard a lot of indigenous stories before, the Cherokee Indians, you know, all these different tribes, but there's no stories that are enough about the Tainos, and the Tainos were actually the first people that Christopher Columbus met. So it's time for our story to be told, and I'm just here um, telling the story through my art, and it just it's an amazing feeling. I feel so happy to, like I said, be able to represent mi gente.